Local historians say they have uncovered a lynching in Clay County, Indiana, that isn't well known. They say it happened back in the late 1800s. News 10's Portia Williams uncovers what's being known as buried history. Local historians say a man was lynched right around here on the courthouse line back in 1880. They say it's hidden history in Clay County. 19 year old George Scott was a black man accused of raping a white woman in Clay County. But this information wasn't readily available until recently. Local historian Crystal Reynolds found out about it through other research and now she's trying to bring this tragic history to the forefront. I think it's uh, something of embarrassment. Nobody wants to acknowledge that someone was lynched in your uh, murdered in your town, especially somebody of African American descent. This is something people want this to be passed, want it to be uh, hidden history, lost history. They don't want to remember the, uh, the tragic past. Historians say Scott was arrested, but an angry white mob broke him out to kill him. An evening on December the 12th, they took him out of the jail and then they started break. They demanded the keys from the officials and they wouldn't give them. They didn't say they didn't have them. So then they proceeded to take sledgehammers and beat the doors down and bust them out of jail to take them and hang them. Brazil Mayor Brian Windham just found out about this event. He says he's glad people are being educated. Well, I think one thing's known the history, and, and I think we all know this. You, you've got to look back in order to look forward, you know, because we, we don't want things like that to repeat themselves. Reynolds is hoping there will be something to remember his life around the courthouse. We also need to acknowledge his life and that his life mattered. He's not just a name or just somebody who was lynched. He had a life, he mattered, and we need to recognize that. But we also need to, to come to grips with our past, our, our tragic past and the lynchings that occurred in this country. Discussions are now being held for something tangible to be here to remember George Scott. Reporting in Clay County, Portia Williams, News 10.